What's going on YouTube? Geosnomade here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch stuck on the passcode screen if you forgot your passcode or your kid accidentally set up a passcode with your friends and stuff like that. So if you no longer remember your passcode, this is how to fix it. For this we're going to use a software called PassFab iPhone Unlock, which allows you to do that easily and of course it does support other features as well, for example removing the screen time passcode if again you forgot it or somebody said it accidentally. The software is available here on PassFab Fab.com. It's called PassFab iPhone Unlock and the free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So let's check the program out. It does support multiple kinds of passcodes, six digits, four digits, alphanumeric and face ID, touch ID, screen time and of course even iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes mode is supported. So if you accidentally set up a passcode that you don't remember anymore, here's how to fix it. iOS 16 is also supported. So first you have to connect the phone to the computer then start the PassFab application. Pressing here start to unlock and and then it says in here PassFab iPhone Unlock will remove the screen lock on iDevice Central's iPod in this case. It's an iPod Touch 7 generation which is the latest available. However, before doing this you should definitely check out the notes in here and the disclaimer. You should keep in mind that this will remove everything from the device. It's basically the same thing as doing a factory reset to the device but you can't do a factory reset from the phone because of course it asks for the passcode. However, you should keep in mind that if Find My iPhone or Find My iPod is turned on you will be ask for your Apple ID and password before you can set up the device again after this reset. You will still be required to authenticate yourself in order to prove your ownership of the device before you can set up the device after this procedure. So this will just remove the passcode from the device but it will also wipe all the data making the device available again for you to use after you prove your identity with Apple ID and of course your password. So doing this your iOS version will also be updated to the latest one available. You should keep this in mind if you are planning to jailbreak it will be updated to the latest version and this is designed to help you if you forgot your passcode or your kids set up a passcode that they don't remember and stuff like that. You should not use this for stolen devices or for your friends devices and stuff like that. It's illegal to try to unlock stolen devices so please use this program responsibly. Now let's continue. We press next in here after we read the disclaimer and then we have to put the device in recovery mode by following the instructions here. So I'm gonna set my device as going to be iPod touch over here and mine is iPod touch 7 but if yours is an earlier version you go here, if it's an iPhone you select iPhone and follow the instructions on the screen to put the device in recovery mode. Alright so with the device in recovery mode you can see now we have in here this page downloading the matching firmware. So the program will attempt to automatically get the proper IPSW firmware for your device, in this case for the latest version. So I'm just gonna press download over here and it's going to take some time for it to complete so I'm gonna be right back once it completes. It may take a while because the firmware is quite big, in my case it's a about 5 gigs, so I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so it says firmware downloaded successfully. At this point we can press start remove over here. With the device connected it says removing the screen lock. Please keep the network connected and do not use the device during the process. It's going to verify the firmware to ensure that it's actually compatible with your device and after that it will start installing that iOS version. So it will essentially reinstall iOS on the device and perform a factory reset. We're gonna wait for this to complete and I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so at this point it says removing the screen lock and it's installing iOS. West. This may take a while, about 10 minutes, so please be patient while this is doing and of course your device may reboot a couple of times during this procedure. I'm gonna be right back once it finishes installing because it takes quite some time. So at this point it says in here screen lock removed successfully, so in this case the device has been reset to the factory settings and you can see here we can now set up the language and stuff like that, you can set up the country and whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up this real quick. So at this point it says in here welcome to iPod and we can press get started and that's it. The device is now fully functional, you can open applications and use the device normally. However, as I said, everything, all the data will be removed, so there will be no videos, no photos or anything on your device. In that case, you can restore a backup if you have a backup of your device and everything will come back to normal. Otherwise, you should keep in mind this limitation. So yeah, that's basically it. As you can see now, the device is fully working and all the applications work as expected. So that's basically it. That's how you use the program. You can press down in here and that's it. So yeah, if you want to check it out, it's available here on PassFab.com. Definitely check the program out in the link below. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.